Hey guys, welcome over here to the Google Lab. My name is Robert. And today we're gonna go over swim gym. So out the gate, one of the most important things, if you guys are fishing grassy situations when it comes to pads, grass, like not just like wood and st stuff like that, dirtier water, you can get away with this as well. Um, this is gonna be with 65 pound Guggen Squad braid along with a Guggen Squad Gold Series uh, heavy rod. This is the muscle rod. This is a 7.5 heavy extra fast. So out the gate, I have a 316 ounce swim jig tied on. This is more shallower situations you guys are looking forward to get the, the bait up there in like a foot or two foot of water and just kind of like burn it over the top of the grass or little dollar pads or such. This is black and blue. We also have uh, white and chartreuse. This is 3.8. This is probably the one that I probably throw the most the size wise, 3.8. And then you also have a quarter ounce. So you have like your tiny, your medium, and then your, your bigger ones. I would pair, this is a three inch crack and crawl. This is the pearl white one with this white and chartreuse on the back of this thing. That is what you wanna pair those two with. You might wanna go with a green pumpkin on the back of this one right here. But for today, we're gonna to be using the black and blue. And I have a three inch crack and crawl that fits absolutely phenomenally on the back of this bait. This is the junior version of the crack and crawl. And I think it's, it's, it was built for jigs and small mouth and smaller presentations. I absolutely love this thing on the back of a jig. It fits phenomenally. I mean, it was built for this right here, this one purpose only. Everything you guys find today will be found on GoogleSquad.com, which can be linked in the top of the description. So this is pretty much the deal. When I want to size it up, I'll literally just do this, and I'll put my finger where the bend of the hook starts to curve around, and that's where I know I need to puncture back through the bait to make it sit on there nice and pretty like. And then just slide her on up. There you go. So now she's on there nice and straight. Look at that. Look how good that looks. That's a black and blue 316 ounce Guggen swim jig paired with a three inch junior black and blue crack and crawl. Right there. This is probably the staple of, of all swim jig colors and patterns. Like this is it right here. This is what you want to use. This is this is it. You can go also to a rattle and chunk, which is phenomenal. This thing looks like, I'm gonna say extra on there. I'm gonna pull this sucker off because this is actually what I've been using here the most recently because it has the rattle in it. If you're using black and blue, you're probably fishing in dirtier water for the most part, or you're down in Florida. But listen to this thing. So this is the Guggen Chunk. Listen to that. It's got a rattle already in it. It's got it right here on the nose. This thing, this thing was built specifically to be put on the back as a trailer. That's pretty much what it is. I actually do punch this thing every once in a while with like a two odd or a three odd hook. I will punch this thing if it's real dirty. I want to get down there and just jiggle it in the face. I'll go ahead and put that thing on there. This thing's got a thicker body so it'll last a little longer as well on the jig. Oh, I can just tell that. So there you go. There's a little bit bigger presentation. So the junior is going to be much tinier in size. Like look at the size difference. Very, very much so smaller. I'd use this, the Junior, on a 3 16 and I would 100% recommend this bigger one on a 3 8 right there. And it just jiggles as it's going through the water, it rattles. I mean, it's just absolutely phenomenal. So right here, this that, like I was saying, that's the black and blue swing jig. When you guys throw this thing around cover, you're gonna throw it up there, and there's actually more of a pumping motion. So we're gonna pretend that's, that's all the way up. So when I'm actually reeling it in, I'm doing this. I'm pumping the rod just like this the entire way as I'm reeling it. Every time you guys are pumping the rod like this as you guys are reeling it in, you're just basically reeling the slack. It is taking this skirt and it is flaring the skirt out as you're pumping it. But it's still swimming. So you're still swimming the bait. It's just swimming a little slower, but it is literally flaring the skirt every single time. So that's what I do. And a lot of times as you're pumping it, it'll literally just go slack line and your line will start shooting off this way and you'll have to catch up to it and then hit them with it. Or they'll, they'll feel, the smaller fish actually feel bigger when they hit it because you'll feel the thump. But the bigger ones are the ones that will inhale it and will swim way out to the middle of the lake. That's pretty much that. So just reel it in and just pump it as you're reeling it in. I know that sounds kind of strange. It may take you a little bit to get some confidence in it, but it does work. So there you go. There's the swim jig. Check it out at GuggenSquad.com. This is a Guggen Squad swim jig. I'm, I'm pretty much getting off of here, guys. I'll check you guys on another episode over here at the Guggen Lab.